So we're going to talk to you today about common transmission failures we're seeing on the Honda automatic transmissions. We're working on an 03 Honda Pilot. We'll show you what happened with this one. But this is common on a lot of Honda products or Honda automatic transmissions we're seeing. Uh, this vehicle came into shop. It's right behind me for uh, whining. When, it, when you first started up cold, it was okay. But after it warmed up a little bit, it started whining. Then the transmission would start slipping and not shifting right. And eventually it wouldn't move. So when you have this kind of issue, it's an internal transmission problem. And you have to remove the transmission from the car. So this is what we've had to do to remove the transmission from the car. You have to take the subframe down, the exhaust down. This vehicle was an all-wheel drive. So we had to take the little T-case off right there. Um, you know, this is what it looks like when it's out of the car right here. And uh, no big deal, right? So when you get the transmission out, then you disassemble it. And I'll show you what we're finding wrong with these things. What's normally happening when you get that whining sound is the transmission filter is getting stopped up. And it'll cause it to whine. It'll cause the pump to start for fluid. And once it starts doing that, it loses its prime and you get the slipping, you get the shifting, you get the no move condition. Now, the thing with these Hondas, you have to split the cases, as you can see here. By the way, this is the identification. This is the identification tag right here. This is what kind of unit this thing is. You see that on the side. So you have to split the, uh, you have to split the cases on these things to get to the transmission filter. The transmission filter is on the front case half and it bolts right in here, like so. And what happens with these things is the filter gets stopped up. You can see down the side here, look at all that friction material that's in the filter. And where that friction material is coming from is clutches. And the most common thing we see here is the torque converter, which we've already cut apart. And this is the clutch that goes inside the torque converter right here. And you can look and see that all the lining is starting to flake off of that clutch. And when that happens, uh, you might get a PO740 code, 741, something like that. TCC stuck off, high slippage. But this friction material, of course, flakes off and it gets inside the uh, filter and starts to stop it up. Um, another thing is that the clutches inside of these drums, they all start flaking off too. We don't have the drums disassembled right now, but this is what it looks like all apart. Uh, we're actually making a video right now of a detailed rebuild on this unit, which we'll, uh, we'll put on our channel later on once we get it done. So it's a transmission overhaul. You put all new clutches in it, which you see right here. All new seals, all new friction clutches. We like to use the Ray Bestis clutches here. Um, and then, of course, you have to rebuild the torque converter. You put a new uh, clutch lining. We have these hanging up on the wall. We actually bond a new clutch lining to the clutch and then you reassemble it, put it all back in, flush out the cooler lines and uh, drive it down the road. And as long as it's assembled right and you have good parts in it, it should work for a long time. So the theory behind this, this is a non-serviceable transmission filter. Uh, the idea behind this is when these transmissions are assembled, they get a filter inside of them. If the filter is bad for whatever reason, then you have to go inside a unit to address why the filter is getting clogged up. And it is just the things I just showed you, the clutches flaking off. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.